finally, Crent. Finally. To the Baron Files podcast. <sighs> we did 26 episodes in the last 12 months. So we're averaging on... One a fortnight. One a fortnight. But as... As you said the other day, I think that's just series one. TV shows always have a spell. The they end do. Of series, so Absolutely. That series one's out of the way. We're coming back with series two, yeah. back with a vengeance. And hopefully, yeah. we can offer more content. Better content. Better content. More often content. <laughs> just yes. one of them things, though. Like last time we done a pod, I had four young kids. <laughs> this week, I just sent the last one off to uni. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mature, age, mature age, dude. Yeah, mature He's going a bit older. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. All still living at home, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so am I as well at the moment, too, which is a surprise. <laughs> well, that's lucky enough. Yeah, a lot of people thought that'd be unlikely at this stage. <laughs> I'm nearly 35, nearly survived. Two and a half years I've been married, Nathan. Really? Because remember, we had a bunch of kids before we got married. You did. So. You had, didn't you have all your No, you had three of them out of wedlock, yes, Nathan. Three, yeah. yeah. Similar to Dave Grohl. Bastard Ex- children. <laughs> <laughs> Very similar to Dave Grohl, except I actually had them with the one partner. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How sad is that? Can we go straight into that? Oh, let's go straight into it, mate. He's a hero of mine, Dave Grohl, and I've just looked at him as this. King of morality, like he was the good rock star, wasn't he? Like he yes. had that squeaky clean image, and he now and all these yeah. fucking stories coming out. <laughs> <laughs> all these porno, porno actresses and shit. And it was like, I didn't even know this. Well, there was a girl that runs a porno website. Apparently, he's had a relationship with her for a long time. And this is not the baby mama. This is a different one. Wow. But again, the internet's going to go fucking crazy, isn't it? Oh, look. The, the, so the, who knows the, how Any discrepancy in life, the internet will go, oh, my God, we That's need right, to report yeah. this. And if Dave's listening, which I'm sure he is, yeah. I'm not peddling rumours about Dave. No. Dave fan, mate, This is so, just what yeah. you've heard. Just what I've heard on yeah. the grapevine. Hearsay. Hearsay. Yeah. Yeah. So weren't they you, say. You weren't in the room. No, nah, that's right. All these nah. uh, acts or alleged acts were happening. <laughs> happening. <laughs> Speaking of in the room, when the, I remember when we told the kids that Renee was pregnant with our fourth child. Mm. And they used to always say where the babies come from. We used to say, oh, when mum and dad love each other, they have a special cuddle and then they have the baby. And, then, and fair enough. And then we told the kids That's what happened. That's pretty PG. And Dawson goes, oh, I wanted to be there for the special cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. No, no, you didn't. I don't think that, uh, nah. The, some kids that are there for the special cuddle don't have great adult lives. That's exactly <laughs> right. PTSD sets in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that happened. But how you been anyway, mate? I've been really good. I've been really busy, Top as obviously have you, which yes. is the reason we haven't been able to get together. Turns out. Um, but, yeah, I've been really busy, mm. but not getting much done. Nah. I've been as busy as a one-legged man in an ass-kicking competition. Busiest man doing nothing? Yeah, yeah, doing fuck all. It's been a harrowing six months by the look of it because I've lost a lot more hair from the front of my head and you've gained another chin. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually lost the clue. Yeah, oh, no, I just wanted to slide that one in. I've been thinking about that one for a while. <laughs> just wanted to slide in. I, I wasn't lying about my fringe, though, unfortunately. That's ah, well, that's, well, it's not looking too bad, though. Again, like, though, as we still stated, a far fuller head of hair than mine. <laughs> still the best hairline yeah, yeah. on the pod. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Comfortably. I've, you, actually, funny you say that. Since I turned 40, I've been bald for longer than half of my life. Yeah, wow. I first shaved yeah. my head when I was 19. I, I came to terms with the fact that it was no longer growing in certain yeah. spots. When you so turned 39, you have been bald. Longer. Yes, that's but right. Yeah. But I, I yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, actually, you're, you're right. right. You are yeah. dead right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my math has uh, eluded me. Math? There. It was let you but, down? Uh, yeah. <laughs> which is usually uh, quite strong with you. Like all your teachers would have thought, oh, no, Nathan's had really strong maths. They, yeah, they expected to be some sort of accountant or <laughs> scientist. Um, you know, definite. Yeah. Office jockey. That bloke up the jock. back, facing the other way, not listening, that's been caught smoking seven times on school property this I year. I never, ever smoked. He's going straight I to the top. I never, ever smoked at school. At school? Not months. All oh, right. No. Did my brother ever get caught on the darts at school? I never got caught. But I don't ever remember him smoking at school either. Yeah, okay. Possibly did. I don't No, We didn't really do the wrong thing at school. Yeah, okay. We were doing it. Away. Outside <laughs> of school. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he used to run a fair bit of Lynx Africa back in the day. Just used to bathe in it before he'd come home. Oh, I did he really? To the yeah, yeah, possibly, yeah. Possibly a small relation to the smoking. But <laughs> I think he thought mum and dad were the two dumbest fucking yeah, people. Uh, on wait, the we all thought our parents were dumb. <laughs> we all thought our parents were dumb. Turns out they knew fucking everything <laughs> before we knew it. Yeah. Oh, but no, nah, busy times, mate. It's been good to get back at it, though. It is. It Being is. flat out. What have you been up, you been up to? Anything exciting? Ain't done anything exciting in the last three weeks? Yeah. Finally, mate, after a 15-year wait, we managed to win a hockey premiership, my team. It's been a long time, 2009. We, we, we did. did. We did win a premiership, Crane, in the hockey. 
Nathan has been saying to me for five, eight, <laughs> ten years, why do you still play that stupid fucking sport? I don't understand. It makes no sense. Come to watch the grand final only and then just insert himself beautifully into the celebrations like he was a club life member. You've never well, seen anything like I, it. I, look, Crane, I have been playing hockey for the South Burnie Foot uh, Hockey Club. <laughs> Good start. Since I was in grade nine. For two years. No, I've been. I have never retired from hockey. Uh, you've never there there was never course. a ceremony to say that I have. <laughs> I have ceased playing hockey. I was still going. Whilst I haven't donned the the, the shin pads, if you will. <laughs> um, I I yes, I am. A, I, I'm still waiting for my life membership. Oh ceremony. yeah, it won't be far away. Yeah, I'm sure, I, yeah. No. Well, the range well, is special. We, we, look, we spoke about it at the celebrations uh, at on length. Grand Final night. At length, yes. Yeah. I believe we're going to save that for sports, though, are we? Yeah, we'll probably hold on to it. Yeah, yeah. okay. I just want to mention that you were the one of the longest stayers at the after party. Nathan actually didn't go home. He slept there. Managed so. to uh, <laughs> Again. find myself a piece of floor. How many floors have you slept on? <laughs> a few. Worldwide. A few. <laughs> and it'd be a hundred. Uh, I have, and I'll tell you, that was probably one of the most uncomfortable ones. <laughs> I Like, it, it's it's getting beyond me now to start to sleep on it. Like, I used to yeah. always think, I can sleep anywhere. Couldn't give a fuck where I sleep. I can just do it, right? But... That night, I reckon I had seven minutes sleep, and I, I was right in front of the fire, because like, like, I, I had a fireplace yeah, there yeah, at the house. Yeah. I was right in front of the fire, and I was cold. <laughs> I had a blanket, and I was fucking freezing. I said, this is no good. i got to go. Do you reckon it was the early onset of the hangover settling in, though, or you were just genuinely Possibly, cold? possibly, yeah, possibly. That does a little bit of anxiety coming the in. Anxiety. What am I doing? <laughs> knowing, but it would have been a bit of a relief, knowing full well. That your wife and children were away, and you could have just come home and laid and done nothing. As like, I, I did, never, I never get that luxury. So. That's 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 exactly what I did. Nailed right, the brief. Yeah. Yes, nailed the brief. I did. Right, do you want to get straight into fan mail, Nave? Oh, if, we, if we have, is there anything else we you want to talk about first? Not not at this point. Not, not that I can think of. Yep. If we have fan mail, let's get fucking right in. We've let's got get some stuck. fan mail. Oh, hang on, we got a thing for that. Stinger. Yeah, we did have. Oh, I don't I even forget. know how to get them up anymore. <laughs> this yeah. has been that long since we've done these. I think it's this one. Not that one. Nah, I can't find it. Don't worry about it. What a fan, what a fan, what a fan, what a mighty big fan. (laughs) It's been that long since we've done this. Carlton were actually still good at football. Last time we done this one, go. <laughs> the Dockers were still good at football. Yeah. <laughs> and then they've decided to shoot the bed. But anyway. So we won't be doing any... Sport. So just so everyone knows, we won't be doing any stingers. Anyway, a bit of fan mail knife. Right, so we've got fan mail. Straight into it. Yep. This is from Ricky. Righto, Ricky. Righto. Oh, I think this one came through to me. This probably. one came through to Knife. Yes. From, and he's just by subject, from Ricky. So <laughs> I assume it's from Ricky. Boys, couldn't find the email for the fan mail, but here we are. Bit late to the scene, but I just finished episode 15. Great laugh and a good thing to drain out the day. We all have to pay bills and you guys smash it. Along with you two, we all get wiped on the daily. There is always some we don't dare to speak of. I hate to rain in your parade, Crent, but I have to agree Ooh. with the big fella. Spelt your name right. Sport, <laughs> sport needs to shorten up and maybe put forward to the middle of the episode. Oh. Your stiffy over Ricky Ponning and your love for smashing a red ball coming in at serious pace is amazing, but it needs to tighten up. <laughs> <laughs> love what your legends do and keep on with doing the washing and cooking them snitties extra crispy with a torch just to check. <laughs> That'd be in light of Renee's ability. Sorry, I shouldn't say a name. My okay. wife. <laughs> love it, guys. <laughs> you found a lifetime listener here. Fuck, that's good, dear. That's good. On, good. I like champion. that, Ricky. Thank you very much. And But no, Ricky, we will not be bringing sport forward. If anything, we'll be tapering it out. No, I've got to phasing say, it out. Even I, say, yeah, yeah, phasing it out. I've yeah. got to say, like, as much as I hate just sitting here talking about sport, I haven't hated our sport segment, segments. Segments. It's created a bit of controversy. Yeah, it has over the journey. Oh, I like it. It has. V one stay um, I'm ditching him soon. I'm just going to do just a sports just pod. Just a sports so podcast to, without Barry. Stay tuned. <laughs> But now, nah, good on you, Ricky. I like hearing that. Ricky's actually a positive person, which we need. Ah, you. Oh, you favourited him. That's cool. Yeah, well, he's a, yeah. Well, you're in for life, Ricky. Yeah, you're in for life. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll make Ken Arkley. Lord, <laughs> the Lord Kenneth. So it's been a few weeks, and good to see you haven't lifted your game. <laughs> Brett, is hockey training too hard that you can't help the legend get the podcast yeah. happening? <laughs> the legend. I'm considering coming to Tassie and sorting this out for fuck's sake. Come on down. Guys, it's 40 minutes of banner and this can't be sorted in 168 hours a week. Lift your uh, lift your game or I'm coming to town, Brett. Now he's cal- calling me Brett, so he's really trying to yeah, piss me off. he's not happy. Yes, I know it's not Brett, but fucking not happy, boys. Love the podcast, but the missus isn't happy with you as I'm not happy. Happy wife, happy life. Week mine is happy, guys. Yours truly, the Lord of Bathurst, not in England, you too, Brett. <laughs> 
That I, I, we do deserve Why the that. Fuck did, I, I'm sure early on I thought he was from England. So did I, 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 I. And I did too. And I think it's because of the Lord thing. Yeah. But no, I th- it was before that. I think there must have been another Ken. But yeah. Oh, righto. Um, Look, I, 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 let's just touch on that. Lord Kenneth is one of our yeah, well he's finest, one of our finest listeners. Yep. Absolutely is. And we deserve every little bit of backlash we receive yep. over not having done a podcast. For, it'd be three months. Possibly longer. Yeah. It's <laughs> been a while. And there was that one for about eight weeks that we just put in the middle too, so it's been a yeah, while. But yeah. Yeah. We're back yeah. on track now. Summer's a bit easy for well, both of us. We're, isn't it? We're, we're on track, but are we? We're, yeah. we're one in a row. <laughs> we're one in a row. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> for season two. Absolutely electric yeah. start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As far as September goes, we haven't fucked up once. That's oh, no, exactly. Because we we're at the end of September. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Uh, Adam Kinch flicked us a note. He's just gone with the Bradbury as the subject. G'day, guys. Bit of a late coming to the pod. Loving it, by the way. Excellent. Obviously a fucking top bloke with great taste. Fantastic. Yep. Just listened to episode five. Did you know that Stephen episode Bradbury... Episode five? Yeah, he's a, late, he's a late comer. I had hair then. Our episode five. <laughs> <laughs> that was on FM radio. Didn't have yeah. podcasts when we done episode five. <laughs> I am, sorry. Yeah. Did you know that Stephen Bradbury has his own beer label? It's called Last Man Standing. You're welcome. Bullshit. Kenji. Is fuck that a lie? I'm not sure. Or is that a joke? I'm going to fucking Google that's it. That's got to be a fucking... That's a beauty. <laughs> if if that is a fact, that's a beauty, and I want to get someone... Someone can buy me a carton of it. I'm I sure they'll send it over. I can't afford to buy it myself. Here we go. Last Man Standing Brewing Australia. Get fucked. No shit. Well done. Oh, look at this. Perfectly paced Australian lager. Well, that's yeah, fucking, this is, that's, that's like, a marketing well fucking done, dream, isn't is, it? Well done, Stephen Bradbury. Look, he is a fucking Australian legend. Yep. Right place, right time. That is the Perfect. most Australian thing of yep. all time. And, and having a, I didn't know he had a beer. No. I reckon we should. We're going to get some. We should get some and, and yep. we'll make it an unofficial sponsor of the club. We'll just bring him in. <laughs> just that for is, one episode. That is fucking awesome, yeah. isn't it? That's fantastic. On you, Who sent us that? Adam. Thank Adam you very Kinch. much, Adam. I appreciate that. What an absolute fucking ripper. I've got to stop swearing so much. Ah. I've got to move on with my life. Fuck it's it. not good. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for fair mail knife. Because oh. remember, we can't find our other <laughs> well, Okay, so we do, have, we do have another fan mail email. Well, and it's actually did. like, it's, it's something like admin at baronfiles.com. Something like doesn't help a fuck. Yeah, I know. It's it. not it, though. And I, we'll find it. I'll, yeah, I meant to find it before today's episode. Well, you know, well. I meant to find it in the last three months. Yeah, <laughs> been busy. But I've been too busy, so... <laughs> It'd be funny if someone lived near you and just they, they could ring you, I'll send their thing in <laughs> and say <laughs> the amount of days in that period they've seen you laying on the couch yeah, in that front Horizontal <laughs> on the couch, yes. 158, <laughs> they 168 <laughs> days or whatever it was. But. Yeah. Oh, wow. No, Nathan, anyway, in the last few months, there's been a landmark world sporting event has been completed. I think. No. We're obviously what, talking about. Obviously, the Olympics then, Crent. Well, premiership it? two weeks ago. Oh, was your it, premiership. Yeah, the local hockey <laughs> roster. Oh, we're in the sport already, yeah. are we? No, no, no. <laughs> this is the Olympics. Now, I was when I was a kid, I used to love watching the Olympics. You get to watch swimming because we were all good at swimming. We did. Watch a little bit of the track. We'll shit house at it. Um, I even like the water polo on that. Genuine. Genuine. Respect for the, their athletes, those a, people. A, a lot of it is. Like, <laughs> So we, I, I think you know swimming, swim, swimming is done to death though. That's first. Yeah, it's exciting though. It is, but it's only exciting because we're good at it. Like we're a yeah, reasonable, that's we're a reasonable team at it, and it, it's not bad because of that. But like we get the world championships, we get the Commonwealth Games, we've got the Olympic Games, mm. and the swimming. I think the swimming's done to death. I like watching the athletics because we don't get to see a lot of that. I do now. Yeah, throughout when the I was year. Kid, I didn't, yeah. And and a few of the other sports like the kayaking. You know, we're fucking obviously aced the kayaking. Fox girls. The fox girls. Very foxy um, sort of sisters they are. Quite. 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 Foxy. Yes. I yeah. believe they're coming up in a later story. Ah, they make it a mention. They make it a mention. Blake, like, Blake work genuinely in love with Jessica Fox. Really? Yeah. He may be stalking her. We're looking into it. Oh, dear. <laughs> Look, Jessica Fox, not us. No, we're us. looking into it for you. <laughs> yeah, we're looking into we it for you. We may know one part of So if you want me to make sure he doesn't come over, just send me your address. Yeah. And I'll sort that out. <laughs> ASAP. <laughs> But um, yes, the Olympics have been on. We are late to the party, obviously. Olympics yeah, are over. Yeah, a little while ago, but one yeah. and done, done and dusted. But let's yeah, we, let's have a chat about it. We had some disappointing performances again. I watched a bit of hockey. Our, our men turned in a pretty average performance. It was probably one of their worst finishes for quite some time. Went out in the quarterfinals. Yeah. yeah, well, they usually medal, don't they? Generally, yeah. Ah, uh, generally, they've had a few misses in the last five or six, but they won the silver last. They made the gold medal game, lost on shootout. So yeah, okay. Yeah, they just pay. A, oh, no one gives a fuck anyway. I won't get into the details. But, yeah. Hockey um. Shit. But I just want to <laughs> <laughs> I just want to talk about the shit that's what's devaluing the Olympics, I think, 
is putting shit like breakdancing in it. Now, you've got someone... Look at someone like Jessica Fox. She, she's an athlete. She's Absolute a powerful, athlete, yes. highly trained, fit, fitness in the extreme athlete. Mm-hmm. And she's worked hard for years and years and years to achieve a gold medal. Someone went to the Olympics this year and got a gold medal for breakdancing. Like, yeah. it takes the gloss off the whole thing. That, yeah, that's, 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 they're, they're putting hobbies in now. That's right. Look, look so, team sports like soccer and hockey, they play, like, seven games to win a gold medal. Yeah. And now they're putting shit like breakdancing yeah. in there to get yeah. a gold medal. Like, they yeah. should win a little shitty, like, $7 local jewellery shop. Oh, look, uh, and, look, and, 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 and now, look, we're not downplaying their talent either. No, no, some of them were incredible. We're not yeah. downplaying any talent. But it's, I don't think – it's not an Olympic sport. It's not a sport. It's a hobby. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> Next we'll be having fucking musicals. That's what I mean. Like, yeah. And that's it's performance. That's performance. Dance, dance performance. Like, it's, it's entertainment it's, performance and it's great to see. 100%. Yada, yada, yada. But not in the Olympics. And that Aussie guy was pretty good. The woman copped a hell of a lot of shit. That was, yeah, that was she quite did. a bizarre look, performance. But uh, credit to her having a go. Credit to her. Uh, I don't know about having a go. No. It was, <laughs> but what annoys me though <laughs> now is... No, do you know what? Credit to her. She, she fooled Australia. <laughs> <laughs> she got to go to Paris for yeah, free. yeah. She probably yes. didn't even go to any of the fucking sport. Just went out to touring about the place for a couple of weeks. She hopped like a kangaroo in front of the world. Or was it right at the end too? So she just had to turn up on day 15, and jump around I'm for pretty three sure, minutes. I'm pretty sure she's now making bank. So yeah, she good apparently. On, she good on the ray gun. Parent, the ray gun. So I'm right behind the parents you. money. She's going to be off tap. As someone who knows what it's like to get a great deal of hate on, online. Oh, mate, I get a great deal of hate. I walk down the street and get a great deal of hate. But I get a great deal of hate online for the videos that I post and things like that. But... I, the love's tenfold. I get yeah, yeah. I, I get, get yeah. great messages. Keeps you going for every for every bad message. I get, I get probably ten or twenty good messages. So that's why I'm going to keep going at it. Mm. She's copped nothing but hate over it. You're not going to get any hate from me. But people sense some entitlement. I did enjoy now. seeing the dancers. Did ya? Yeah, I, had I a bit thought of a it was laugh. cringeworthy. It was, that's what I mean. But, but I then a, it got funny. Yeah, yeah, it the got boy funny. Seen it, like, it got funny. So yeah. I enjoyed seeing. It. I was entertained by it. Certainly not a gold medal performance. <laughs> no, gold medal. She come last. But, Fuck yeah. those but heads again, she had to go. But I just but good hate, on you. I just don't know why everyone thinks they have the right to since social media I think has given we mm. talk about it all the time. A sense of entitlement that everyone has the right to do this. Like they were saying, Oh, we've got the right to show the world and we belong on the world stage to show the world what I can do. No, no you, you don't. fucking don't. You absolutely do like, not. Like just because you're good at, I said to you earlier, if they were to come around and watch me in my rumpus room on a Sunday, I'm the best in the fucking world. You are fantastic at, at it. Drinking cans on a Sunday in mm. my rumpus room. Yeah. Does that deserve to be on yeah. TV? No. no one gives a fuck, no. do they? At all. Exactly. So I don't know In fact, know I why. won't even video call you while you're doing it. <laughs> it's not like... It's just not enjoyable. Just because you're good Everyone at else. Yeah, like, I'm really good at farting. <laughs> <laughs> that will probably be... And, and that's someone that though. you I can... Re- that well, well, it's on the way. You can no, rip holes not. in your bed sheets. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm really good at it, but I don't have the right to go and show the world that. Although I try to. You should. But um, yeah. uh, Channel 7, or Public. Channel 9, sorry, Channel 9 covered the Olympics issue. It'll start with 9 now, just yeah. on the streams. Nine, uh, at the they are not, they're the not coming around to my office saying, Nathan, <laughs> we're setting up a camera here, here and here. If you could look into this one while well, starting, let it go. they're not doing it, right? So whilst I'm very good at it, I do let not have go. the right to take it to the world. And you don't expect... No, I don't a, expect a platform to, to be right. able to show yeah. fucking yeah. people what's going on. There's but, a, there's yeah. a, there is a... Look, at this point in time... Um, there is a sense of entitlement in the world. Oh, that's one hundred percent, and it's it's not warranted. Everyone thinks they have a voice. Yeah, you've got a voice, but fuck it, you want to entertain someone before you get to fucking take it out there. Yeah, like, that's right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's right. Yeah, there was some unsavory incident. Not unsavory. There was some sad, dangerous moments in there. I was watching the um, beach volleyball there at one point, women's beach volleyball, and there was a mm. wrist injury quite early. Right. But, but I was right in a week or two. I can't write. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck yeah, It didn't last long. <laughs> oh, I'll be waiting three months to use that one. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was, is that today's fucking dad joke? That was rough. I thought it was good. That was rough. <laughs> I laughed. Let us but know yeah, what your thoughts yeah, were. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. There um, was a bit of an uproar about their uniform. The uh, Beach volleyball uniform. Beach volleyball, yeah. Look, a lot of people, a lot of the fucking... I don't know, the do-gooders of the world, Yeah, you want to say. The, oh, they would come out and they said, oh, why do the women have to wear this and the men get to wear that? The women fucking chose to wear yeah. what they were. They can wear tracksuits if, track track if they fucking want to. Yeah. But it's not comfortable for them to play. Fu- Could you imagine rolling around in the fucking sand in a pair of track pants? No, I can't. Fuck yeah. off. Saying that, I'd, like, They're I, the ones that do it right. 100%. Yeah, it's they more can, efficient. They can wear what they like. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. But I just don't see the comfort in a G-string. 
I just don't know how. Is that wearing J Street? Well, a lot of them did. They were like up their ass. Well, they only wore that because they wanted to. That hundred percent, and they're comfortable, and that's how they want to. I don't think there's a country in the world that say you have to wear this if you want to play beach volleyball. No, that's right. Yeah, there wasn't too many people from Yemen wearing them though. Because the women would have the full bloody oh. top to bottom fucking, the fucking <laughs> what, are they, what are they called? The, um, <laughs> the fucking letterbox. The, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Right, let's oh, yeah. we we'll get off cut topic. That bit out, no we get, yeah, we're getting <laughs> off topic. Yeah. But um, just touching on the Fox sisters again, they're still oh, yes, relevant yes, again, yes. Nape, as we talked about. So this is the double standards. Poor people. We are what. Men. Heterosexual males. Yes, yes. So we're, the, we probably we're almost the token, we're at the bottom of the, the fucking most food. hated fucking we, type we are, of person. We, on we the absolutely planet, fucking are. They can't say any yeah. fucking thing. Mm. So anyway, recently in the Olympics, old mate the pole vaulter with the quite mm. large appendage, the big package, the rod. I reckon they focused in on it eighty four times in the coverage. Sorry, after the coverage, not yeah. on the actual. It was on the morning show, Today show. The women were laughing about it. They were taking the piss out of it. I don't care. It doesn't offend me. It's very hard to offend me. I don't give a fuck. No, exactly. Yeah, I know the way. But what does offend me, if one of the beach volleyball, volleyball, volleyball players had a huge set of lungs on her. Yes. Set yes, of breasts. Yes, I was about to say something. You and go, I made go, comment yeah. on the... If I was Carl Stefanovic and I made comment, sacked. Yes. You would not see the next ad break. Exactly. Your that's career it. would be, be over. See you later. That's it. How, you can't speak about women like that. You can't. Fucking rah rah. How but, is that yeah. fair? Well, it's the same as the fucking... As the, as the uniform conversation we just had. They, there was an uproar about what they were wearing. Where would you like? That's exactly right. And now this guy, he's 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 cost himself a fucking medal because <laughs> of his massive dong. It's probably done him a few favours over the journey, like though. It was, it looked like this. <laughs> like it was massive, right? Baby's arm holding an apple. And they did. There was a lot of focus on it. I've seen a lot of, like, videos where they zoom in on it. It's like, if Wild. we did that to a woman, if someone did that to a woman, curtains. fucking hell. Absolute curtains. You'd be shot on sight. Fuck site. me. Yeah. It was highlighted recently too in the rugby league. Brad, they done a live cross to Brad Fittler on the sidelines. Yes. And the Fox sisters. Yes, when he was we interviewing them. Yes. When he was interviewing them. They're mad Penrith, Penrith, Panthers, fan, Penrith Panthers fans, who are probably the best team in it, Nave. Okay. Um, and they uh, threw down to Brad and he just made an off-the-cuff comment and said, oh, I'm waiting for the kiss cam to start or whatever. They both laughed. He had a bit of a chuckle and then moved on with the interview. Yeah. Universally fucking panned. Yeah. He's a pig. He's a chauvinistic pig. He's discriminatory. And you just think, fucking hell, you can't have this all one way. You do Exactly. Realize. But it's okay <laughs> to zoom in on a bloke's package. <laughs> yeah. And just go on and fucking on about it. So poor old Freddie Fittler, I quite like him. And I thought that was fucking terrible what he yep. went through in that regard. But Well, mate. Yeah. The Baron Files are behind you. We 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 stand. We, we, we stand, stand with, with Freddy. you. We stand with Freddie. I nearly went like that. That's it. Wasn't a good idea. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone racial. We've there gone, we go. <laughs> we are going down some rabbit holes here today. Yeah, it could be the last episode. We that. might need some media training. <laughs> <laughs> Podbean might give us the arse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I hope not. Just repay the subscription to Podbean. So, oh well, yeah. <laughs> we'll take it. Anyway, just a little tidbit too. I know people go like, oh, he's talking about his kids again. But when the Olympics were on, actually, I can't remember if I shared this in the last pod. Nah, because it was fucking ages ago. Anyway, I just lost my plot. The Olympics were two years away in our last pod, mate. <laughs> yeah, we weren't talking true. about the Olympics. <laughs> that's very true. Anyway, give me two eldest boys a spray. Not, they would not go to sleep. They were just fucking about and carrying on. And I, I'm pretty good with them because I like that so much during the day. So it's mm. fucking around or whatever. And I just lost her. I said, Sake, you fucking kids get in your fucking bed. I won't tell you again. You are the worst fucking behaved two boys in the world. Just spoke about not swearing. Yeah, nailed that. Three That's it. I, I was replaying what <laughs> I said, though. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much okay, how I yeah, said right, it. Yeah, right, yeah. I know. <laughs> anyway, my eldest just instantly looks back at me straight away and said, Oh, I guess that's another gold medal for Australia, then, isn't it? No shit. That's what he came back with. <laughs> 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 and I went. I just turned and exited the room and thought, oh, I've been defeated. <laughs> that was just an ace down the line, yeah, down was. the tee, yeah. untouchable. Caught the like, line, you've appealed yeah, it. Yeah. No good. <laughs> <laughs> just took a millimetre of line. So, yeah, that's what he came out with, the big fella. And I thought, yeah, no, nah, that's fair good enough. I'll him. pay that. Well yeah. done. Fair play yeah. and off you went. Um, got a couple of rippers here from the internet, mate. People have sent me over the last few weeks. I do love the internet shit. This is fucking good. Anyway, what's the best thing that happened to you in truth or dare? Oh, fucked if I remember. In, a, <laughs> in high school, I was... Well, dead. I never got a gobby out of it. <laughs> so, we're, we're coming down from there. <laughs> Can you explain to our national listeners what a gobby is? <laughs> um, oral stimulation. Oral stimulation. Of the male yeah. appendage. Oh, oh, the male appendage. <laughs> <laughs> That's the cleanest way to put it. Isn't it? Is it fellatio? Is that the... I think so. Yeah. 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 I believe so. That was so. the word I was thinking of. Can you like, spell fellatio? No, cannot. <laughs> 
I'm not sure if it starts with a fucking PH or an F. <laughs> it's an F. I tell you what, I'm going to find out because someone's going to comment it. 100%. <laughs> yeah. That reminds me, one of my mates once was on a trip and he can't spell for shit. And he said to one of the other boys, can you get me one of them boys and berry muffins? Blueberry muffins, sorry. He said, I'll get you one if you can spell it. He just thought about it for me and he goes, oh, just get me fucking chock chip. <laughs> <laughs> Submitted early days. Sorry, just, all right, we've spoken about berries now. Ah, oh, here we go. I've had a, uh, when I was A gripe. In, yeah, it's, it's a gripe, right? I've had this question for a long time. If you went into a berry store, right? That just sell berries. That only sell, I've, I've asked you this obviously, yeah. If you went into a berry store, it only sold berries. It didn't sell anything else, just berries. Can you then go in and ask, can I please have a punnet of rasp and a kilo of straw? <laughs> they only sell berries. So the word berries is implied. <laughs> so you sh- I, think, I don't think you should have to say the word berries. No, I, yep. I agree. P- fucking people <laughs> argue with me. Do they? Yeah. They think you should follow through they with They think it. you should follow through with Why? the full fucking... I don't know. It just what fucking... Are you, what are you going to get confused exactly, with? Shop exactly. Exactly. Oh, did you, did you mean straw acorns? No, <laughs> you fuckhead. I meant strawberries. <laughs> the only fucking thing yeah. you sell. They only sell berries. That's all they sell. This is a hypothetical question. But people still go, oh, no, you've still got to say the word berries. Why? It's the only thing they fucking sell. Yeah. So it should point. be... It's fucking implied. Yeah. Just like if you walk into the Greg Chapel Cricket Centre and you ask for 12 bowls... Yeah. They're going to give you cricket balls. They're not going to give you fucking... You have to say 12 cricket balls. Yeah, you're not getting rugby balls there, eh? (laughs) You wouldn't fucking think so. But with that berry question, Crent, I believe I had Latrobe six for three. Did you? In the slips. Yeah. (laughs) Hadn't bowled a ball. (laughs) Because I'd ask it in the slips court to the the wicket keeper and we'd have massive conversations about it. I saw cunts fucking walking back going, I don't know. (laughs) I don't know. Halfway, Halfway off, just, and they come yeah. back. Oh, but what about that? But what about this? Off you go, mate. Tell your story. Fucking walk them. Just say. Yeah. 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 Good point. Never got a first grade game at Bernie either. Probably. I don't know why. Because they were pretty good at cricket. Oh, that'd have been better if I'd have played. With them. <laughs> well, they would have. Been, band would have been better. Yeah. I, actually, at the at the hockey grand final of the week, uh, the Bernie cricket coach was there with me drinking. Ah, oh, right. My mate mentioned. I'm sure he was into you again. Yeah, should he should have said, look, you look at peak fitness. Fitness, can yeah. you come back? And he said, he, he said where do you bat? And I said, high teens. <laughs> <laughs> In the high double figures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough, dude. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, anyway, we got to our track. Uh, what's the best thing that you've that happened to you in truth or dare? Well, you've already asked for that. Yeah, well, this is the fucking thing I, I was going to I can't remember. Say. No, th- I'm telling you a fucking story. Is that Tim? It is Tim. Bakesy ring me. I'll ring you back. Anyway, in high school, I was dared to play gay chicken, which is where two straight guys pretend to be gay and the first one to chicken out loses. Right. I'm not sure this could be the best thing ever to happen to me. In, in the, I, yeah, yeah, well, it continues. The other, okay. the other guy and I are both really stubborn, like you, <laughs> and neither <laughs> one of us wanted to lose. I think I've heard this name you said that. Keep going. That's good. We've like now it. been married 14 years. <laughs> <laughs> we run a nice bed and breakfast in Vermont <laughs> with our adopted daughter. If that dude doesn't chicken out soon, I'm starting to think he's actually gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is fucking fantastic. I think that's I, fucking You brilliant. know, I'd like to hear more stories of people just like, you know, because you know when I, get, I, like I personally get into arguments <laughs> oh, and, about, really? and about a third of the way through, I'll realise that I'm wrong. Yeah. But I continue to argue. <laughs> have never been wrong, oh, actually. I don't lose arguments. Because you're only wrong when you concede. Yes, so that's right. If you and just I, stick with I'm yet to concede one. I've ever. had plenty of people pull out going, fuck it, whatever, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Knowing full well that they are right. <laughs> and that's because you've followed them home into yes, their bedroom. Exactly. Still arguing. Yes. Yeah, it's just like, fuck yes. it, just go away. Right, <laughs> whatever. I don't give a fuck. Please I'm yourself. like a dog with a bone when it comes to arguing. <laughs> so I, no, I can appreciate that. But I'd like to see a few of the. I'd, if there's any more of those, that'd be great. Send them in because I love hearing my, those things. They yeah, make me laugh. They are good. Anyway, I've got another one here. It's not as good, but I still liked it. Just wanted to, Before you say, oh, it's not as good, I just wanted to break it down to you nicely. Anyway, what's the worst pickup line you've ever heard? A buddy of mine in a bar in um, Colorado back in 1990 saw some chick at the bar and was entra- entranced by her. He was also very, very intoxicated. Asked me for a pickup line. I said, you're on your own. Long story short, he approached her, he approached her, panicked, asked her if she had ever been to Guatemala. No, she replied. Neither have I. Wanna fuck? 
That was the actual fucking thing. But it, 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 it continues. Still married to this day. <laughs> Fuck, he must have been good looking. So sometimes you don't have Fuck to be all that hell. creative. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. People like me and you can't get away no, with that shit back no, in the day. I can't say that I get punched in the you've face. You've got to bring your absolute A yeah. game when you've got a head like this. <laughs> <laughs> when this is your fucking lid, you've yeah. got to bring your absolute A yeah, game. This is what you're running. This is the hand you've been dealt. Yeah, fucking hell, you better come up it's with something It's Operation All Fucking yeah. Hands on Deck, isn't it? <laughs> Straight on to chat GP for, <laughs> chat GT for my fucking <laughs> big up lines. Imagine that was a thing back in the day. You would be killed it. Fuck, mate. Mm. Mm. Um, one thing that's been annoying me, is your toaster got very deep trays? Like, does it cook the top very well? Yeah. Yeah. Well, right. not like, um, actually, no, sorry. You need one, a deep I'm tray. going to retract what I just said then. Right. Our p- toaster is fucking garbage. Is it? Yeah, it's, it's shit having a shit, shit. toaster. Like, it's depressing. I've got to turn it up to like eight or nine just to get it a little bit toasted. Like, it's fucking shit. Your wife does like shit, not she, toasted. Yeah, Do you reckon she she's dialed it back? She has hers set at two. <laughs> like, Hardly even on a good toaster, Hardly that's no fucking good. Not even warm yet. Yeah. Fuck me, Foley. But anyway, sorry. Yeah, no, but as, as, as for, for depth, yeah, I think depth's all right. Yours depths are strong. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, I had a shit one the other day and it was so fucking disappointing. I was like, oh, fucking oath, I've got a sock bit. Just ruin me day. I often stick my tongue down to try and get the last bits of the, <laughs> the crumbs when I'm really hungry. And I've never reached the bottom. Scoop the other end out with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> Lucky kids don't listen no. to this shit. Yeah, I anyway. know. Um, another sport. This might be joining breakdancing in the next Olympics. Oh, hang on, what mate. was the end up with the toaster? Oh, that was it. I just wanted to ask if you had a deep toaster tray. <laughs> I don't know why I put it in there anyway. Fucking hell. That was a bit of a pad. Must have been a slow yeah. day we on was, the fucking We were padding a bit of content yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> How could you tell? Yeah. <laughs> cool um, story. One joining the uh, break next in the next Olympics, Hobby Horse Championships. Oh, I've seen this. Queensland holds Australia's first championship for hobby horsing. as Cannot TikTok spurs it. on membership. So it got going on TikTok. Yeah. People were going right up. It was like, it had millions of views. If you haven't seen this, oh. something's fucking wrong with you. It says you. here, the tagline is, if you haven't heard of it, your kids probably have. The, yeah. one, the once obscure sport has grown in popular, popularity over the past few years, largely due to its presence on TikTok. Yeah. This week, dozens of riders from across the country have come to uh, north of Brisbane to take part in the first state championships for hobby horsing to be held in Australia. <laughs> They've travelled. They've travelled far and wide. It gets better, though. Um, it's had a surge in members. It's a hobby that reflects the real equestrian sports with real horses, but without the mess, drama, and transport of floats. Just on that, though, what do you reckon if they just said, oh, well, fuck it, this footy season, we're not going to go to the trouble of putting the posts up? We're just going to fucking assume. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah that's just pretty, pretty much, much like we're doing is. a sport, but without any of the fucking work involved. You are literally watching... Mo- it was grown adults doing it, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, a lot there's of them, There's obviously yeah. kids doing it too, but there's grown adults doing it. Yeah. They're like, it's those sticks with a horse head on it. <laughs> it's the actual toy. And they are running around with those between their legs. <laughs> jumping, jumping over, over shit. the jumps. And they, and they weren't real high the jumps. Like. They weren't athletes. You I are tell literally you. better off to fuck the stick off and watch them <laughs> jump over. It'd be more entertaining. It would be. Yes. Well, you, It'd be harder, that one. They're, honestly, I wish we could put those people into a container on the Spirit of Tasmania. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh about that. Okay, so there was a a few years ago there was a little bit of a an issue on the, the Spirit of Tasmania. Oh, I can't where, remember that. Oh, there it? was about eight or twelve horses killed on the Spirit oh, of Tasmania because yeah, they weren't putting yeah. their yeah, okay, yeah, sorry. they fucked that up. I probably went a bit too far with that yeah. one, but fuck it. Nah, it's fair. Yeah. We've gone a bit far. <laughs> People from Tasmania might hear that one. Anyone yeah. from England or US, you're not gonna know what I'm talking about. But yeah. No yeah. offense yeah. needed. But, but basically yeah. there there's people running around with pretend horses between their legs. Yeah. These horses don't even have fucking legs themselves. No, like it's, it's literally just a literally stick with a, a horse's head on it. Yeah. Like a toy that you would give a child that's just learnt to walk. <laughs> and that's what you would give them. And they are jumping over jumps and getting scored. And it's been given the okay for the 2032 Olympics. It's in. No, you're joking. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. Oh, fuck <laughs> That's what I see if I can get you to bite that Jeez. off. <laughs> well, it being in Queensland... The, oh, well, yeah, that's the 32 good Olympics point, are yeah. in Queensland. That's where she's kicked off. So. Fuck me. Yeah, fuck it. What an hell. embarrassment. Mm. Nah, look good on him. One thing I've... <laughs> <laughs> after all that, one thing I caught a bit of flack of, I reckon you'll agree with me here, do you ever eat, and if I'm eating a meal and I'm not sure, I have to stand up and walk around briefly and to see how full I am. If you're sitting down, I don't reckon you can judge how full you are from eating. You might be right. That's just my But opinion. I don't do that. You don't do it. No, I just eat right. until I'm full sitting down and then I cannot stand up. And then, <laughs> and then you... Eat my only my only <laughs> position my only position for relief then is horizontal. <laughs> <laughs> At so 
Yeah, I don't like being too full. I hate being too. Yeah. No, I fucking hate it too. You do. I do it every day. Every single day. Is that another dead end question? Yep. Fuck. Another content patter. Wowie. No, the boys give me shit at work about that. I said, you try it. I'm gonna stand gonna... up and see how full you... Just give it a try. Okay. I know standing up is not your favourite thing to do. It's not at all. <laughs> Being mobile. It's not my least favourite thing to do. Like, standing up and doing something is probably <laughs> <laughs> less favourable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Yeah. Anyway, we've got... This is actual content, not just a little... Okay, right. So, mm. um, 50 Cent, Nathan. Not 50 Cent. 50 the, Cent. The rapper? Yep. Um... Listen to this for an own goal. 50 Cent was giving his baby mama, one of his baby mamas. He should move to Australia. Why? Well, then we have to call him 78 Cent. (laughs) 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 Anyway, right, I can't get it. He was giving one of his um, children's mums $500,000 a year, 40 grand a month roughly, as child support. And she claimed it wasn't enough. She was kicking and screaming and carrying on about it. Well, I'd have a kid with him. Yeah, me too. So I try. <laughs> <he's> doing, <laughs> whatever, however way possible. <laughs> so he took himself to family court and applied, put himself, basically sued himself for the child support, whatever it had to be. Took himself through the court system. The court found he, he owed this baby mama $6,700 a month. And he'd been paying a 40. She's cost herself 33 grand a month just by carrying just on. Just by carrying on. That's one of the biggest L's if you'll at see. At any point, $40,000 <laughs> isn't enough for you to fucking live on. <laughs> you fucked a few things Go up. and eat a dick. <laughs> Yeah, fucking Emily Seabom. All right, yeah, he's back on the ice. Yeah, yeah, one thing. That's it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, another one thing. Fuck. So he was paying her forty k a year for fuck knows how long. We don't yep. know how long that is. Yep. And no, forty k a month. Oh, sorry, forty k a month. Yep. Fuck, even worse. Five hundred. And she's years. complained about it. He said, right, oh, well, we'll go to court about it then. And now <laughs> it's been reduced <laughs> six thousand seven hundred. Six seven. A what a time to be alive. Not bad. Big win. Mm. He is. I think he's actually listed. Like he's. Obscenely rich. He's obscenely rich oh. for someone who hasn't done much for a while. With yeah. 50 cent. He's, he's yeah. been invested in a lot of things. He's worth hundreds and hundreds of millions. So. And like realistically, with it, like with a name like this, he's been around for a while. Inflation mm. surely's caught that name. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Still only worth fifty. Fifty cent. I don't know. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, but the, poor old fifty. He's been in the um in the wars because his eldest son recently hopped on in, hopped on Instagram Live. My speaking's going well. Mm. To discuss the amount of money he re- receives a month for his father via child support. According to the um, rapper, he was also receiving $6,700 a month mm. to live. In the state of New York City, you do the math. $6,700 a month, said Mark Marquise. Marquise. 25. This bloke's 20 fucking oh, five 25 years old. he's 25 years old. Still getting money from his Still dad. Money from dad. it's not enough to live. Get a fucking job then, Mark. Fucking go and and find yourself some employment, son. You're talking about a Forbes list, eh? You're talking about someone that has problems with everybody. You can't just live in any neighbourhood. 81,000 is not a substantial amount of money. You can't just live anywhere. Yeah, but if you were receiving that, plus Plus an income from a job, go to a bottle shop and get a job at a bottle shop. Do something. Fucking hell. Fuck me, Foley. Although he is saying you can't just live in any neighbourhood because... Fifty cent has of the issues with He does that. have issues, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, that's probably a bit of a due fun. to his past. Yeah. Um, Who's, who knows? But twenty five. You're twenty five years old. You're twenty five years old, mate. Get get real. Yeah. Get on yeah. with your life. Yeah. And do something for yourself. Yep. Like. Yeah. Uh, fucking hell. The world doesn't owe you anything. Shit. Mm. The world doesn't owe you shit. Name like Marquis, though. He's had a bit of a tough start start to life. So. Yeah. Well, that might be Marcus too in the states. Oh, it could be Marcus. That's what I was looking at. I think it's Marcus. Could be Marquis. Yeah. Oh, I don't fucking like know. Shaniqua. I don't know how to fucking pronounce the names like that. But yeah. Anyway, we've got a bit of a jam-packed final se- section, Nathan. So we're going to get right along to the premier event of the pod. What's that? Sport. Well, that shit. Do you know the stinger? I think. Well, no, no. Nah, it's it, like it's. I think it's. Um, it's back this way. No, nah, I can't find it. Right, we'll move right along. So. <laughs> Oh, ladies and gentlemen, strap on your boots. It's time for Crad's Crappy Sports Section. How, How good is that? No, it's pretty good. Yeah, Nailed that. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Nailed it. I'm sensational. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of nostalgia in there as well. Nostalgia? Yeah, because of the, the old 80s style fucking... Mm. Yeah, very true. Right, I will start off with my our recent uh, local triumph, Nath. My so team this finally is, this breaking is, this through. This is our premiership. Our premiership breaking yeah. through for a fifteen year drought, yeah. which is very special. Um, 
just inserted yourself. I really with, did. Oh, spectacular! I really did. It was one of the better ones I've seen. Yeah, actually, it was a great insert. Seen a few over the journey. Bernie Vince, twenty twenty one with Melbourne, where he was just yeah, yeah. in the huddle singing the song. <laughs> pissed. He'd been there on the piss all day watching. Had then, nothing to do with the team. He got left a year or two earlier, and then and went and just went in. Good on him. Absolutely, yep. just. I think he was holding the cup in some of the photos. Yeah. He was just absolutely killing it. But no, I, I think you've topped him. I did. I really did insert myself into this premiership. Um, I felt like. I was there, I was watching, I was down in the trenches watching <laughs> the game. Turned up at quarter time, because I went with your brother. Oh, so I'm surprised you got there by quarter time. Well, I went with Nathan, with uh, Grant's brother, Nathan, and I said, right, what time's the game start? We found out what time the game starts. I said, you'll pick me up before then. He goes, yep, no worries, pick you up before then. He actually picked me up after the start time. <laughs> As he does. Yeah. And it's still, to get there at quarter time, though, I would say that's early. Yeah. Because I would expect him to get there by half time. Oh, so the fact <laughs> that you got there at quarter time is a great effort. So insert yourself with, yes. But one thing you did do, though, I was drinking out of the one of the cups at one point. The big <laughs> one, I think. I don't like whiskey. I just can't come at it. I've tried. I just don't like it. Hep comes along with his bottle and just tips half it in the cup I'm drinking out of and just retrieves it from me and starts drinking out of it. <laughs> I did. And so I this had like a can fat. of soul, hard solo or something there or some shit and he's just poured it full of whiskey and just takes off. And he's just <laughs> drinking out. It's quite a large cup. He's just taking it. I said... And I, Thanks, I, I had that cup for quite some time. Yeah, had a medallion on at some yes, point. Took uh, off one of the young fellas. I did. Yeah. I, I, I borrowed the uh, medallion. I've still got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I then don't. just looked at him in a taunting manner and said, now take it back off. <laughs> Good luck. He would be <laughs> solid 48 kilos, ring and wet, holding two bricks. <laughs> yeah. Lovely, lovely, lovely young fella. Fantastic he did young let man. me wear his, his medal for a, a short time. Fantastic young man. But, um, yeah, just want to touch on a little... Um, Local sporting triumph. Nah, and it was a triumph because it was the first one in how many years? 15 years, 15 yeah. 15 so years. a little while. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, um, it's funny, it's a, the comp's been dominated like since we won one 15 years ago. There's only been three other teams win it in a nine-team oh, right. co- so nine competition. There's been some dynasties yeah, in so there. there's been a couple of dynasties, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah right, is, okay. Um, yeah. Which now, one in a row, is we've set our own time. dynasty up. Uh, your time. Dynasty. Mm. So, yeah, no, very special. Um, AFL Grand Final this week. Which is, is a massive day. So we've got Australian Sydney and Brisbane. Calendar. Yeah, Sydney and some team everyone hates. So we're all yeah, on Sydney. Lot, a lot of people don't like Brisbane, do they? Uh, I don't like Brisbane. Fuck Not Brisbane. a massive so fan. I can't say I'm a massive fan. They've done it hard, though. They've come the long way from the bottom half of the draw. So they'll either be electric and running hot, or I think they'll tire because yeah, they've been, they've this is their third interstate, interstate, interstate trip yeah, to, to travel to win. But, but, I mean, if they bring them over a couple of days earlier. They're coming Wednesday. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, 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 that's not a bad place. Just today. Well, yeah. But also, Sydney have to come, Steak and Kidney have to come over as well, Grant. Yeah, it's only an hour. And they've been at home for a month. Yeah, they played their first true. game at home, their, their prelim yeah. final at home. So, yeah, look, Sydney are cherry ripe. If they don't win this one, they fucking never will. Really, like they're, they're cherry they're, You're right, because right, yeah. the last premiership, they, well, the last grand final they played in, they got absolutely fucking pumped. Well, they've actually lost their last three grand finals, Sydney. Have they? They lost 2014, they got built by Hawthorne. 2016, they got beat by the Bulldogs. And 2022, they got beat by 81 points by Geelong. So they've lost, yeah. they're coming off a bit of a tough run. John Longmore won a grand final in his second year as a coach. And he's lost three since, so he's won from four. Ooh, which is, yeah, if right. game wrong, fantastic coach. But at the end yeah. of the day, all that counts is Danglies. That, that's got a, exactly right. Yeah, like, you, you, you ain't the coach St Kilda. <laughs> yeah, fucking free mm. And one bloke's done both. There's no. There's currently no living. Yeah, that's right. Yes. <laughs> there's currently is. no living coach. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> there's one a premiership. Either team. Kilda. Yeah. yeah. Well, you guys have never won one, but you're correct. Yeah, your insertion into the AFL wasn't that long ago. Well, it was now, though, wasn't it? 1990, 30 years they've been in. So, <laughs> right, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Made one grand final. Yeah. So, and proceeded to kick the ball that way every time they were aiming at the fucking goals <laughs> over here. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah. yeah. Eight uh, goals, 14 to 11 11, but anyway, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, so it's going to be interesting. I, one big thing Sydney of today ruled their captain, Callum Mills, out of contention. He will not be selected. He reckons he's right to go, but the medical staff have said. <laughs> Well, he hasn't played any finals, has he? He played the qualifying final okay. and then hurt himself at training. So he right. played the first yeah. final. But um, it's a big call. But also, City have been burnt before. In 2022, they took an injured Sam Reid into the yeah. final. And, you and can't he played do it. about eight minutes. Yeah. And, and look, as, as the captain, I hope that him saying he's right means that he's right. Because he's 110%, he reckons. But, yeah. Yeah. But, but like, because that's the sort of shit that will fuck your team and you're be, the captain. It'd be... Fucking horrible to miss a grand final, yep. but to be honest, if I had my leg in plaster and was sitting there missing grand final, you can sort of come to terms with it. Yeah. But to sit there and th- you think you're right and you've got to sit there and watch that game, that'd be fucking hard. That'd like be you hard think to do. you can physically yep. do it. So, happy, but as I said, Sydney have been burned a couple of times before. At 2016, I think they took him in 
I think he was the one they took he him was slightly injured, injured in 2016 yeah. as well. Yeah. So, yeah, um, it's a tough one to take. And, Captain, you deserve to be there, but hopefully Sydney can get it done. Yeah. Good, one of your good mates goes for Sydney. Uh, old Stevie P. So it'll be great to see him get reward. Good luck, Stevie P. Good luck, Stevie. Um, Big James Wiggins goes for the Sydney Swans. Does well. he? Yeah, he's a Wigo. bloods man. He's a bloods man. Jared Graw. Jared Graw. Mm. Oh, jeez. Uh, do you reckon Isaac Heaney can turn it on? So often we go into grand finals, they're like, oh, it's his day, he's going to dominate. And the superstar gets about 11 touches. I know. So they um, get a lot of pressure. I think he's, he's good enough. Honestly, like, I, he is good to watch. He is, when yeah. he's on, he's yeah. really good to watch. Both teams are stacked with talent. The only thing that worries me is whether City can kick enough goals to beat Brisbane. Brisbane are a very attacking team. They kick 100 points most weeks. Yeah, yeah. Sydney probably not their one would. They're, but Sydney are a midfield dominant team, so if they can keep it off them. But yeah, I don't know. It could go either way. Well, yeah. look, if you want to read right into it, Crent, Sydney just got to cut down Brisbane's un, un, uncontested possession. Uncontested, uncontested yeah. marks. When you keep them to under 100 marks, Brisbane don't win. If yes. they take 100 marks, they win. Yeah, so, that's where we're yeah. at. So we all know so this. Get the ball. If you and I know this... John Longmire knows this. Oh, do you reckon it's come across his desk? Yeah, well, right. no doubt he's listening to the pod live. <laughs> yeah, he's probably yeah, watching YouTube so live John, right now. So, keep, him un- keep horse, the marks down. Horse, keep, him, <laughs> keep the ball off him. Don't let him hold on to it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so tough one for Millsy. I, I feel sorry for him, but we've all been there. Actually, no, we haven't. I no, haven't. I haven't. Um, it would, get this, though. The teams can't train on the MCG in the lead-up to the game. They want to get access to the ground on Thursday. They were denied by the AFL. Guess why? Why? Katy Perry's practicing for the pro- Fuck off. show. <laughs> You're fucking joking. I'm deadly serious. Fucking practice inside somewhere. Like, you do not need... The, you're joking? You've been doing it 30 years, love. Practice Get at home. F- yeah, if you don't know how to sing by now, <laughs> if you don't know how to sing by now, something's wrong with you. Yeah. And like, because the, like, these big stars, they bring their own stage. Bring their own stage. Yeah, like I went to ACDC once and they had their own stage. It was like a prefab stage. And yeah, they all put okay. Together. So it goes around. So these people, yeah. they know how to work that fucking stage. They know how to w- walk it. They're not work, They're not standing on a brand new stage here. This is prefab. This is what they bring with them. Yeah, right. right? So you know how to fuck. You can set that up at Moravan. <laughs> That's right. Set up you in know, the backyard go, here. Go practice there, right? Mm. The AFL players, though, like Sydney or Brisbane, probably haven't played that many games at the MCG. No, no, but again, for the, yeah. um, our sports Victorian domino, they're both interstate teams that aren't based in Victoria. So that's they've right. Very yeah. rarely. Yeah. So one's maybe, in Queensland, one's in New maybe South Maybe a couple Wales. each, tops, two each maybe this year. So it, it would be fair to them yeah. to get on it. But yeah, yeah they've been denied. Katy Perry's practicing so, and stage. Because that's the sound the, check and oh, shit. Then again, look, Katy Perry's the most important thing of the day. That's why people go into the fucking grand final oh, to watch I'm Katy Perry's halftime fucking saying that, show. I reckon I could name 10 blokes right now that'll probably be glued to the halftime show. Jeez, oh, I tell you what. <laughs> For that reason. but The thing is, like, <laughs> the halftime show in the AFL has been putrid in previous See, years. See, I reckon it gets a bad... I think it's just cool for people to bag it. I thought Kiss were awesome. Sorry, the pre-game show. Kiss are always good. Doesn't matter, daytime, nighttime. Meatloaf? Terrible. <laughs> oh, <come laughs> Fucking on. terrible. Uh, Robbie Williams was um, pretty good. Robbie Williams was great. Um, Tampa Trap were good. When was that? Oh, fucking six, seven years ago. Right. The Killers, yeah. great. Nah, not a fan. Yeah, but you do, are you not a fan or you didn't like their performance? Well, I don't watch it, Cramp, because it's usually a shit performance, a halftime performance. No, because you're usually fucking pissed. Partly so. <laughs> but, like, you go and watch, like, the, the Super Bowl... Yeah. They have massive stars and fucking heaps of them. Yeah. For the but halftime it's a show. The halftime show is 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 a part of the is a part of the day. How many billions in income would the NFL generate in a year? Regardless, like the hey, the AFL don't do bad. No, I know. Let's that's the biggest fucking, in the country, Let's not yeah. cry for the AFL. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But uh, Katy Perry's a big name. One big name. Oh, Give bad. me three. Give me three big names. Kiss, Katy Perry. No, three get, no I'm, I'm saying to the AFL, bring three big names for the half Oh, for the whole. Every fucking year. Shell out your pack of cunts. Well, they don't shell out the grassroots footy. They might as well shell it out somewhere. Tipping about $350 million to Tassie in the next four years. Yeah, not enough. <laughs> Look at that fucking, look at the V in the background there. Oh, it's the so, fucking, it's the, the V, Jesus the, Sorry, not the V. The map. I <laughs> thought you liked that jumper. Oh, sorry, you just don't want... I don't want, I don't want fucking yeah, Victorians sorry, wearing it, I shouldn't have started. I yet. don't want fucking shouldn't Queenslanders wearing it. I no, want Tasmanians I want wearing it. map off. Yeah, fair enough. The mappies. Um, that's that's the Tassies. Like, sorry, this has been AFL dominated. Apologies for people that aren't interested. Last point. Um, the... Bad sports in sport, Nathan. Lack of hu- lack of being humble and lack of sportsmanship post game. So winning and losing, both. Yeah, yeah. you got to win and lose. Well, yep. um, Port Adelaide in two weeks ago in the semi final, their coach had a bit Hinkley? of a say to one of the players. Yeah, sort of rubbed it in. But 
In okay, fairness, backstory. one of the players yeah, yeah. on social media said, oh, we'll be there in 14 days saying about the next final. Basically saying they're going to walk over these guys. So yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't mind it and I didn't think it was that bad what he said, but I, I always think there's always shit. I play sport at extremely high levels, low levels, but there's always something I think, fuck, I'm going to say that. And then after it, you're really glad you don't because you do look like a fucking twit. Yeah, look, I, do you know what? Um, I, I, I think Hawthorne need to grow up. Yeah, I think That's so one thing I want to do. Silky. It's because they have been doing it for the entire year. Yeah, rubbing right? in people's faces. They have been rubbing it in other teams' faces. Them celebrations, so, that's a taunt. And if you want to do like it, that. have at it. Um, but fuck, mm. be gracious when you cop it. Glass houses. Honestly, because the way that Sicily acted, Sicily could have been the bigger man there and gone, ah, oh, well, he's carrying yeah, on. Yeah, he's a psychopath yeah. too, though. Which I love, he I ruined, love psychopaths. It, but it basically ruined um, Luke Bruce's, was 300th game, was it? Uh, yeah. Because it was as, yeah. as they were carrying him off. Yeah, and he was still Sicily going. was busy going, back and rah, rah, rah. Yeah, that's right. So. Yeah, and then, like, the Hawthorne coach, what's his name? Sam Mitchell. Sam Mitchell came out and fucking backed it up. It's like, well, you're, just, you're a fucking, he was a grub, that cunt. Yeah, he, yeah. Remember the taunts with Essendon and that yeah. sort of stuff? He, like, yeah, I think was it was a, a few isolated things. It wasn't yeah. very well. All these teammates now, they were saying, he cannot believe he coaches in this matter and lets him get away with this shit because they pretty much admit he was an arsehole to play with. He w- was not popular at all yeah. with his teammates. Good. He's, yeah. Like I think I said... He's he, not, it wasn't my favourite player to watch either. He had one of his birthday parties in a phone box. That's how many people... Yeah, turned up. right. Like, yeah. That's how yeah. the sort of realm Look, of, I, but, yeah. uh, So, right. Now, we've got that. So Hawthorne need to fucking grow up yep. and start wearing some shit on the chin because they've been giving it out all year. Yeah, they have sure. been. They've yeah. been shocking. Ken Hinckley. Pretty shit thing to do. Shouldn't have done it. Just yeah, shouldn't yeah, have yeah. done it. Yeah. And he, uh, to his credit, straight off the game, said, look, shouldn't have done it. I apologise. Said I was... Heat of the moment, it's an emotional yeah. sport. I'd have much so, preferred to see Ken Hinkley just stand there with a smile on his face, directed directly at the players. Yeah, I think I think that would have been a perfect little response. And the worst thing, because it was fifteen meters away, and everyone knew it was going on. I would have like if he had this. I when I would have shook his hand, I would have tapped him on the ass, said, "Not going anywhere, Coco." Yeah, like that, that's and fine. left it at that. And he would yeah. have probably smiled, nodded, and oh, yeah. fucked up. Like, yeah. but yeah, I just when you do it like that, and he was making the plane motions and that, I was, it was quite awkward actually yeah. to yeah. watch. And it I was said, a little bit yeah. You, at cringy. the time, you think you want to do it, but as I said, there's been that many times I've gone. Do, walked off a knot and I thought mm. I'm so glad I fucking didn't do that yeah. like your mum's here my wife and kids are here like yeah. you do look like a bit of a twit so that's right humble in victory and defeat Nathan yeah in both it's but like important. Th- it's been blown up and I really do think Hawthorne need to look in their own backyard before they start yeah, yeah that's fingers. exactly right yeah. believe it or not Kane Corns thought it was a bit of an overreaction and it, all, all this stuff and back Port Adelaide and Kevin yeah of course you did Kane the person that hates everyone <laughs> and everything yeah that's right oh, believe it or not didn't think this was too bad and yeah. now we're actually well I'm actually kind of defending him because he sort of said the same thing yeah no I agree but it was um, just funny but I still yeah. don't think that, that uh, Hinkley should have done the same should have still, Kane bashes everyone yet I just thought oh, yeah, that'd, yeah, be, that'd yeah. be right how yeah. convenient yeah. I didn't think this was too bad mm. you fucking numb nut <laughs> but uh, yeah that's it for me Nave. that's it for me great too, to be mate. back it is great to be back and look we do honestly, hopefully, well, we promise. At no, we don't promise. At least one more this year. At least one more this year. I get messages all the time. What's going on with the podcast? What's going on with the podcast? What's mm. going on? Which means you guys must enjoy it. So that's a good thing. I got a message from both our listeners. That said yeah. they would just <laughs> <laughs> for it, for yeah. it to come I, back. <laughs> I didn't mention that those messages like it was like one a week from the same person. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, for fuck's yeah. sake, we'll do our best. Yeah. Um, oh, perfect. But no, so we will try and get more out like we. We, we are both very busy people. Peaceful. Very busy people. <laughs> In the extreme. Um, but look, go and watch us on YouTube. We put full episodes up on YouTube. Plus, we'll be putting up some some highlights and some shorts as well. Damn, excuse me. Uh, we're going to try and focus on our YouTube a little bit more now. Um, See, Cristiano Ronaldo, what did he rack up? 500... Million views or something in three months, or five hundred billion or something stupid. Did he take his shirt off, did he? Oh, well, I can if you want. No. Very, very similar. <laughs> very similar structure of the ab- abdomen, specifically. Yeah, no, we're very, very similar, me and Cristiano. Yeah, the only difference yeah. is money, looks, talent. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's, 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 that's about it. Much it. Yeah. yeah, it's probably yeah. got a bigger cock than you too. And speaks about seven languages. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I speak English and pissed. Yeah. That's the only two I've got. I don't even speak pissed. No, you don't. I don't yeah, know how to. Actually, our Spanish <laughs> friends have just gone home, which is quite sad. We got quite close to him. Joe. Yeah, Jo. The and, um, Spaniard, as Spaniard. I called him the day. And um, didn't pick up a fucking word the whole time they were here. So, <laughs> Oh, you didn't pick up one nah. Spanish word? No. Nah. I said another day, that conversation, said, I'm starting to get it. Mario goes, really? I said, no. Nah. Nah. Not a fucking thing. I went to Spain. I'd love to go to Spain. I went to Spain, and I got to the point where I was actually ordering lunch for both my wife and I in Spanish. 
pointed at pointed, they have pointed at three pies. Well, the thing is, they have the same they have the same fucking alphabet as us. There might be a couple other letters, but for the most point, the alphabet is the same, so you can read it. What? Oh, so you can say the word? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, well, they're all the alphabets the same, apart from like Asia. Are you joking? Well, what what language apart from like Mandarin isn't written in English language? Oh, hey, was it Hebrew or fucking Arabic? Uh, Arabic, <laughs> Arabic, <laughs> Arabic. <laughs> Arabic. <laughs> is that like Italy? Well, Germany isn't. They've got other fucking letters. They've got like dots on the so- top of their letters and shit like that with accents and stuff. Fucking most of them aren't. I'll look into it. Yeah, you fucking. That was about as that was as good a call as me saying that there's no state names in professional sports. <laughs> <laughs> And I ruled off about 30. Yeah. <laughs> and about 90 come through the message. <laughs> in the next three minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So do me the favour and start sending in all the different languages that are not in, in the English language, uh, not in the alphabet of English. But like even Croatian, like there was a boxer back in the day had 87 letters in his name. It was, it was a ridiculous amount. His name is Christoph Vladichuk, but it was still English letters. It was just W-L-R-D-G-A-R. Yeah. And that's fine. Yeah. yeah. But the, his home fucking language... His actual, the actual language that that's written in might not be in the English letters. Like, there's no fucking letter A in Arabic. It's a fucking little squiggle. Yeah, Arabic, that's, yeah, I'd agree with it. And they write back, they write from right to left, Arabic. That, that, isn't that Japanese? No, it's Arabic. Good name. Oh, Japanese write down the page, don't they? No idea. Do they? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they write down the page, like that. So you read, like, down. Yeah, so you read down, then you go back up, it's up there, like... So instead of doing this, tennis, you're doing fucking painting. You would do, you're, watching the, uh, you're watching the beach volleyball. Yeah. It's yeah. 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 Speaking of painting, does everyone notice that they've painted the fucking painted. studio out? Look at that. Looks fucking, good, mate. Well, I'm really happy for yeah, you. I can believe it. When I come out, so who painted the shed? He goes, I did. So who painted the shed? I did. <laughs> said it three times. Who painted who it, Who actually painted it, though? <laughs> who yeah. actually got off who the couch and painted it? Yeah, I did it. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, anyway, we've dropped off. I think that's it for the show. No? Yeah, right. Oh, we'll move on. So, um... No, that's not the right outro. We've got to give an outro here, don't we? <laughs> Can you find it? Yeah, I think it's this one. Everything I... Nah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> see ya. Right, see you later. <laughs>